Welcome back to How to Be Legendary in Cybersecurity. This is episode two. Today, we will be talking about phishing scams. No, we don't mean when you think you caught a big bass and end up with a crappy. What we mean is when seemingly well-meaning emails or messages that you get are actually an attempt to get money out of you or get access into your files. Let's see how the Corny family deals with Fishing Phil and I.D. Ivan. One day, Amy was on her computer. She received an email from their local co-op stating that they had a data breach and she needed to click on the link to go reset her password. If Amy were to click on this link, she could run into her adversaries, Fishing Phil or I.D. Ivan. Fishing Phil spends his time thinking of ways to trick internet users to revealing their usernames, passwords, and other sensitive information. ID Ivan spends his time thinking of ways to collect people's identification information, especially things like social security numbers and driver's license numbers. It's possible the link will take Amy to a web page that looks just like the co-op page she uses regularly. The only difference is the URL will look different than the original one. Fishing Phil made this page to harvest usernames and passwords. By typing in her old username and password in an attempt to reset it, will actually give Phil what he wants. It's also possible that this link that Amy clicks on will look like a page that is actually a counterfeit page that would be asking for social security numbers, birthdays, or addresses, but saying that they need this information to reset Amy's password. This is the way for ID Ivan to get sensitive information. So what should Amy have done instead of clicking on the email? She could have visited the co-op's page directly by typing it into her browser and not clicking on the hyperlink in her email. She could just delete the email because it looks fishy. Or she could call the co-op directly to ask if they sent the email. By calling, she could alert the co-op that there's a scam going around and they could alert other customers as well.